Hi, Dr. Yas here. In this video, I want to talk to those people who have become hopeless, disillusioned, generally depressed about their prospects of being able to resolve their pain and return to a normal life, a life in which you can do what you want when you want, not be hesitant about thinking that maybe this will cause me to have pain and set me back. Uh, in, in talking to so many of the people that I've been doing Skype and Zoom sessions with, I try to find out what was their mindset that led them to say, well, I'm going to give the YAS method a try, even though it sits outside the medical system and is extremely unique in its approach to diagnosing and treating pain. And for most of them, it was the attitude of, well, I don't really have anything else to lose. And so... For most of these people, and I think it's the general position that most people find themselves, is that what alternatives have they given, been given to this point in terms of how to resolve their pain? Well, for most, if you've gone through the medical establishment, you've ended up at a point where, one, you've been told you need surgery and you don't see that as a viable option, whether it's that you don't think that you really need a surgery you're too worried about the possible negative outcomes. You've had to earn too many horror stories about it, something of that nature. So surgery isn't an option. Taking prescription pain medication, which is synthetic heroin, is certainly not an option because you're fearful of becoming addicted, which is a legitimate fear. Trying alternative things like injections or shots, taking a epidural nerve block or a cortisone shot, which has well understood to do nothing more than mask the symptom and it's just a short-term mechanism anyway it was never going to have any long-term effect on you things as scary as radio frequency ablation is an offer so what they're doing is cauterizing your nerves just like when you go to the dentist and it bleeds and he cauterizes the artery it's the same thing he's using a cauterizer to burn the nerve that's a, obviously a very scary premise and so all of these possible scary types of methods of addressing your pain all relate to a general premise that the pain could be found based on the MRI and that it's structural in nature, a herniated disc, stenosis, arthritis, a meniscal tear, a compression fraction, spondylolisthesis, any of these types of things that show up on MRIs. And so you're left with this sense of they're not giving me any real positive outcomes. Most of the positive options, most of the options I have had experiences or know of people who have had experience, which is are negative. And so I'm kind of left to do what the last option is, which is to simply be told I have to live with it. I have to live with my pain. This is as good as my life's going to get. Every morning I'm going to wake up knowing that the highest probability is I won't be able to do what I want to do because this pain is going to come. And now, because it's been for such a sustained period of time, I've, de de I've de developed almost a phobia to the situation. I am so incredibly fearful that anything I do will bring on my pain. I simply won't do anything. And so talking to people, apparently, the idea is, is that they're online, they're searching, and which disturbs me the most is that most people simply come across my method by accident. A Google search, um, somehow we, they got led to something. Maybe they saw an article I've written. Maybe they were in a bookstore and they saw a book I wrote. And it's like, oh, what's this? And then they see that it's completely different. The method of diagnosing the cause of pain is through the interpretation of symptoms which is based on the theory that each specific tissue creates a specific symptom. So if you want to know what tissue is in distress, you can interpret the symptoms. That's at the core of the OS method. The fact that in more than 98% of cases, this was something someone said to me was very, very important to them, was the idea that I was saying in almost all cases, more than 98% of cases, the tissue in distress that's eliciting your symptom is muscle, regardless of whether you found structural abnormalities on MRIs. That's worthless, baseless information. All they're doing is finding what exists, not what's actually in distress eliciting your symptoms. So you can ignore that information. So in more than 98% of cases, it's muscle, which says that if 
you actually are able to diagnose and understand which muscles are involved in creating your symptoms. You could use the appropriate type of exercise, which is quite specific, again, to the YAS method. So if you hear that the YAS method is based on resolving muscular deficits and you say, oh, well, I tried physical therapy and chiropractic and all these other things, maybe a personal trainer. This is a completely whole different, purely scientific understanding of strength training. It's based on kinematics, kinetics, the understanding of how muscles move joints, the understanding of how the bones in the joint move to allow for normal movement and function. This is a very, very high scientific level of weightlifting. It's all based on physics, force vectors, how to stabilize a joint, how to make a joint move, the understanding that one muscle moves one joint in one direction. Therefore, if you want to isolate your muscle, you have to be able to only move one joint in one direction, which makes the rest of the body be fully stable, which makes the exercise, in a sense, be very easy. It's only the resistance that actually continues to increase, which makes the exercise harder because the idea is more resistance means the muscle's getting stronger. The stronger the muscle gets, the greater its force output in comparison to the force requirements of your activity. And therefore, eventually, when the force output is greater than the force requirement, you have pain-free full function. So... I just thought it would be cool to put out this video and say, I am inviting you to try the YAS method. As many of these people have said to me, their premise was, what do I have to lose? What is the overriding principle here? In almost every one of your cases, it's muscular. That's what's causing your symptoms. Forget everything else you've heard from the medical establishment. Medical establishment cannot find muscular causes. Muscular causes don't show up on diagnostic tests, and there's no medical specialty educated or trained to identify them. So you're going to hear something that's new, refreshing, and different than anything else you've heard. The great news is that if it is muscular, three to four exercises performed three times a week, progressing resistance until where the appropriate muscles achieve the strength they need to perform your activities without breaking down, leads you to a pain-free, fully functional life. It's empowering. Who's in charge of making you stronger? You. You don't have to go to a therapist three times a week while it is nonsense. You're not going to be seen multiple times. You'll be seen a couple of times. An initial visit, and then every four weeks, a follow-up visit, just to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. If you're doing everything correctly, you'll get your result. You are responsible for achieving your result. And the great news is, once the pain is resolved, you control it ever coming back by sustaining your strength. It's empowering. It's allowing you to control your destiny. And the great news is this will work for almost anybody. Regardless, by the way, even if you've had failed surgeries, doesn't matter. If the initial cause of your pain was muscle and you had surgery to fix the structural variation, <clears throat> that was there, that wasn't responsible for your symptoms, it doesn't matter. The muscle's still there. The cause is still there. You're still having dysfunction and pain associated with your dysfunction due to weakness or imbalance of muscle. Still there. You can still fix it with the isolated strengthening. So that's, that's my invitation to you. That's what I've learned from those who I have spoke to who have used the method and benefited from it. And the primary reason why they were willing to go out and try something that is so radically different from anything that you'll find being provided by the medical system or any of the alternative types of treatments. That's my offer. That's my invitation. If this strikes a bell and it sounds like something that you might be interested in finding out more about, maybe it'll work for you. You can contact me by email at drmitch at mitchellyas.com, D-R-M-I-T-C-H at M-I-T-C-H-L-L-Y-A-S-S dot com. If it strikes enough of a bell that you've decided you want to move ahead and you'd like to set up a Skype or Zoom session, which is the beautiful part of this, the whole system works directly through teleconferencing. You don't need the in-person visit for the OS method to be utilized. I've been doing Skype sessions for five, six, seven years, well before telemedicine became the thing to do during the coronavirus. I was doing Skype sessions before there were Zoom sessions. That's how long I've been doing this. So again, if you want to set up a Skype or Zoom session, contact me at, by email, drmitch at mitchellyass.com, D-R-M-I-T-C-H at M-I-T-C-H-L-L-Y-A-S-S.com. If you like this video and it makes sense to you, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Mitchell Yass, that would be great. You get notifications when new videos are added or when I am live on YouTube. So that's the story. 
I'm inviting you to try the Haas method. I have learned this information from those I've sought. The reason to try the met, but the Yas method for most of you is simply, what else do you have to learn, lose? You already know you're not gonna get that surgery and if it failed, you know you're not gonna get another one. You don't wanna be on prescription uh, heroin-based medication. You don't wanna live in pain for the rest of your life. You don't wanna try any of those wacky alternatives like radio frequency ablation. Why not find out if your pain is muscular? It is in 98% of cases. If it is, three to four exercises, you're pain-free and fully functional. That's how easy this is for you. Please join me, join the OS method, join the revolution to becoming pain-free and fully functional. This is Dr. Mitchell Yas wishing you a pain-free, fully functional life. Bye-bye for now.